correctly in sentences. Let's buy some flowers for our mom. Hello, could you give us some red flowers, please? Do you have any money? No, I don't have any money. Don't worry, I have some money. Thank you. Now we will read one of the sentences again. Let's buy some flowers for our mom. Look at the word some. Do you know why we use it? Let's see some more examples. Look, the chef is adding oil to the dish. We don't know how much oil he is adding. We can add some before the noun oil to refer to the amount of the oil, but we don't know exactly how much oil he is adding. The chef is adding some oil to the dish. The girl is picking flowers. Because we don't know exactly the number of flowers that she wants to pick, we can add some before the noun flowers. The girl is picking some flowers. There are books on the table. We can add some before the noun books because we don't know the number of these books. Where do we add some? That's right! We add it before the noun books. So the sentence becomes, There are some books on the table. So we use the word some with affirmative sentences when we don't know exactly how much or how many of that thing we have. What about this picture? Let's read the sentences again. Do you have any money? No, I don't have any money. The question and the answer have the word any. Now we will go through some examples to learn why we use it. Are there any students in the classroom? In this question, we used any to ask about the students. What is the answer? Great! The answer is no, there aren't any students in the classroom. Look at the sentence. Is it negative or affirmative? Yes, it's negative because it has the word aren't. So we can use any with questions and negative sentences. Are there any clothes in the wardrobe? We used any to ask about the clothes. What is the answer? That's right! The answer is no, there aren't any clothes in the wardrobe. We used any with this sentence because it's negative. Is there any food in the jar? We used any to ask about the food. What is the answer? Great, the answer is no, there isn't any food in the jar. We also used any with the negative sentence. So we use any with questions and negative sentences. Now let's go through more examples. Wow, what an amazing place! Are there any clouds? Yes, there are some. Are there any trees? No, there aren't any. Is there any water? No, there isn't any. Look at this beautiful house. Are there any people? No, there aren't any. Are there any trees? Yes, there are some. Is there any fire? No, there isn't any.
we learn that we use the word some with affirmative sentences. For example, there are some students in the class, and there is some water in the bottle. We also learned that we use the word any with negative sentences. For example, there aren't any birds in the sky, or there isn't any snow outside. And we use the word any with questions. For example, are there any spoons on the table? Yes, there are some. Is there any food in the fridge? No, there isn't any.